Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this rather inclement 1st of April 2023 Easter day we are doing a quick walk around video on this absolutely fantastic Compass Avant Garde 194. Now this, every so often we run into a van that's just an absolutely spectacular buy for someone. I would say that because I'm a motorhome salesperson. However, this is an absolutely spectacular buy for someone. I'm going to say it. So it's a 2022 on a 72 plate six month old as we stand compass avant garde 194 so compass they are the same company as eldis they're owned by heimer and these days they're called the heimer group britain's second biggest motorhome manufacturer based out of concert in the northeast of england and they build uk friendly um decent value motorhomes and van conversions the avant garde is their best selling range it's one of britain's best selling motorhome range along with its sister van the autoquest 194 came out in 2020 and it's been really really popular and what they've done is they've taken a european bed layout of single beds over the garage teamed it with a british twin sofa front lounge but managed to put seat belts in wrapped it in a narrow body shell and kept the price all right so you've got some European character traits a big bed comfortable comfortable bed big storage uh, along with um, some British character traits and it's a bit of a win at this and this particular one is absolutely superb so I sold this van to its uh, previous owner in September last year and basically he's a busy man uh, he had caravans off of us for years uh, never really used the motorhome um, and has just sold it back to us to buy a, a house instead in Portugal. Uh, so it's done 144 miles, 178 miles, take it back, 178 miles. She's a Compass Avant Garde 194. It has been used, he used to take it for days out from his house uh, to, uh, to the seaside, uh, which was very close. So it has been used, it's not just been stood. So it's four berth, four seat belts, but it's never been slept in, it's a belter. Peugeot Boxer base, 2.2 turbo diesel, it's 140 horsepower, which is the bigger engine, 178 miles, 7.3 long, only 2.2 wide, so it is a narrow body van, and 2.87 tall, low profile, price is 59.95, it's a saving of, ah, oh God, fortunes over the equivalent new price today, 10 grand plus, and it's still got two and a half years of manufacturer warranty left to run, so it's an absolutely cracking buy. It's in perfect condition because it's never been camped in, it's never been slept in, it is as new. So looking around the outside, Peugeot Boxer Cab, fully um, colour-coded. Uh, lots of factory options on this one. This was one of the higher spec factory option ones that we had. So it's got smart um, Heimer Group Eldis alloy wheels. Double glazed windows all the way around. It's a grade three fully winterized van. Nice door with a, uh, with a bin in it. Fly screen door as well on the entrance no need for a step because it's got a lowered entrance steps on the Peugeot motorhome variant of their flatbed chassis vents for your three-way fridge freezer we've got an external gas barbecue here and then a gas locker for two gas bottles and at the back you've got a big garage with easy accessible beds over the top so you'll squeeze loads of bikes chairs furniture all your camping stuff can go in there it's all plastic it's got tie down points and it's got drain points as well really really well thought out and it's got heating and you can access it from the inside of the van and it's got lights as well really really good going around to the back of the van it's pre-fitted for a bike rack or if you need a tow bar you can buy an off the peg witter tow bar because these use witter chassis extensions you've got high level factory fitted reversing camera around the back there corner check is everything's perfect on it there's not a fault on it Second full-size garage door there, TV aerial on the roof, and it's got your mains hookup and your leisure battery behind that socket there. And then on this side, you've got your fresh water fill-up point for your underslung fresh and fresh water tank, your fit for cassette toilet, and your waste and fresh water drain points. So it's shiny as the day it left the factory. In fact, it's shinier than the day it left the factory. This it's an absolute belter. So cab spec-wise, it's got the factory optional. Oh no, which I've managed to break. That was really clever. <laughs> Factory option, I just need to clip that back on. Remis Constantina cab lines, twin swivel cab seats. We've got leather gear stick and steering wheel. We've got the five and a half inch factory fitted optional sat nav system with Bluetooth DAB stereo system and TomTom -Tom European mapping. Air conditioning, <coughs> cruise control, high level reversing camera. 
It's got the silver chrome bezels, the Eco Pack Auto Stop Start there as well. Uh, speed limiter, you've got an auxiliary input for your sat nav, passenger airbag. Uh, so it's got all the cab spec you could possibly wish for. It's coming round in the habitation door. Uh, it's also got factory fitted domestic awning up high as well, so it's got every bell and whistle that's worth having. It's nice loose fit carpets. We come inside, we see. So it is a narrow body van, this it's easy to drive down the country lanes. You feel it a little bit, but it's still very spacious. Nice, comfortable twin sofa lounge, seat six. Pull it together to make a double bed, or swivel your cab seats to make two single beds, slide the sofas out a bit. Um, stepped up there for, uh, for levelness. These are easy accessible storage underneath. Um, and also there's two seat belted seats underneath it here, so if you are travelling with passengers, Remove your cushions, chuck them at the back, fold these up, pull a couple of levers and you've got two forward facing crash tested Agouti uh, seat belted seats. So we've got nice big deep curved cabinet work, storage over the cab, no panoramic roof light on compass but I actually prefer that. I'd rather have that big storage locker there than a skylight because it's so light anyway. You've got your big, big skylight there, big side windows, really really nice. There's a TV point over there. Nice easy control panel, very simple button for each job. And then you've got whale, underfloor, blown air, heating and hot water. So the system itself is fitted under the floor. It doesn't heat the floor, but the system itself is bolted underneath the van, so it takes up no internal space, which is great. And it's blown air heating uh, and hot water. Runs on gas if you're not hooked up, mains electric if you are hooked up. It's very powerful, it's very quick to heat up. It's a Northern Irish company, whale, they're getting very, very popular now. So everything's in perfect condition in here because it's literally not been camped in and he's kept it literally amazing. I'm going to stop saying literally, but it's that good. Um, three way fridge freezer, under there, nice blue light in it, nice deep sink, the clip on draining board that goes next to it there. We've got a couple of main sockets there and a light switch, We've got three gas burner hob, it's never been used grill that's never been used and an oven that's never been used. Up high it's got a factory optional microwave and that's never been used. <laughs> that's really really cool this. Now at the back you've got a big full height wardrobe space which is massive. Your TV aerial is in there, your freestanding table you can put at the front or outside is in there and then we've got two decent size single beds. I think these are six foot, five foot, ten, so if you're over six foot, do come and try one. Now you can put that cushion into there with that infill piece. Real nice memory foam mattresses. It's big storage underneath both sides here as well, which you can also access from above. It shouldn't be short storage in this van, that's for sure. It's massive. If you can get into there, can you? No. And that's your access into the garage which you don't normally get with this layout but that might come in handy so there's a second tv point at the back here two opening windows and an opening skylight for ventilation then you've got plug sockets and light switches and reading lights at the back as well uh, so this if it suits is an absolute bargain um, just because of what the new van prices have, have gone like so we were gave, able to buy this back at a fair price and we're selling it at a huge saving over new and frankly you'd struggle to buy a new van any, even if you wanted one you wanted to spend an extra 10 12 thousand pounds to get one the same as this um, but that's unregistered you'd struggle to find one anyway um, so it's the Compass Avangar 194 give us a call very quickly on 01626 832 792 if we're out here videoing talking to customers call the mobile 07432 662558 that will get you straight through to myself or one of my sales team <coughs> you can check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website or you can come and visit us at Team Grace Newton Abbott Devon. We are literally on the A38 South Devon Expressway between Exeter and Plymouth. Uh, it's the busiest road in South Devon. No country lanes. Dead easy. We've got an intercity railway station in Newton Abbott. We've got an international airport at Exeter. And if you live further afield, you come down here and have a look at it. If you want to pick it up from our Somerset branch, you can do. So this is 2022 Compass Avangar 194, the 5995. It's got the optional cab blinds. It's got auto headlights. It's got... Leather gear stick and steering wheel, it's got sat nav, 
It's got the TV area, it's got the awning, it's got the barbecue point, uh, it's got the alloy wheels, and it's a U saving on noon. It's got two and a half years of manufacturer warranty left to run. So if you see this, give us a call today because it won't be here long. Thank you very much. Goodbye.